That's a good fish here. Crew here today, Lester Whiteside, Dick Russell, and Frank Snagger behind the camera right now. We just want to tell you guys we're at the Bassmaster Classic in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and Lake. Tell them about the deal you just got from Dick's Sporting Goods. Two rods, 50 bucks. What kind of rods are we talking here? We're talking Wright McGill, Rick Clun, crankbait rod. And you said two for $50. 89 bucks normally a piece. That's the kind of deals you're going to get at the Bassmaster Classics. Also, let me just dig into the bag here. Not only with that deal, you get a free jersey. Now, we've been looking at jerseys for a while now, and we just got one on the free. I'll tell you what, we're having a lot of fun here at the Bassmaster Classic. So stick around because we are going to buy more stuff. Thank the Lord above every time I can. I get to be a fisherman. Thursday morning I'll have me something figured out It's not definite but just about Hey folks, Frank Snagger here again. Uh, you guys may remember me from the trout fishing episode. You got to see my trout trophy pond. Well, this is my bass trophy pond. You know, get a good look here. This is Tyke 2. Remember Tyke, the giant rainbow? Not this guy. That guy. That's Tyke 2 right there. Yeah. I actually caught him barehanded. Yeah. Didn't even use a fishing pole. Just saw him reach down. Snag him out of water. I think you'll be able to take it. Alright, oh yeah. Good yeah. yeah. Alright, Lester Whiteside here, that's a good fish. We're at Byron Velvet and Dick Russell here. It's a great time to buy a motor guy to Oh, are you taking the motor guy to it? Up to me. Uh, is that right? Okay, just move in a little closer. Well, you gotta get closer then. There we go. Byron, how's your classic experience going? I mean, you'd always rather be fishing it, but the weather was so cold this morning, I was glad to be in bed, order room service, and get a nice hot mocha, and sleep until 10 o'clock. I don't blame you. I really Edward enjoyed it. Edward Edward Edward. Shut up! We're trying to do a show here! Chance to take home Edward Edwards jersey, as well as what do you see your best prizes? You can spin at the top of every hour. You know, winning tournaments on yeah. swim baits. You know, and, and being a guy that started throwing swim baits back when people thought I was crazy, you know, 12, 15 years ago. So actually taking an 8 or 10 inch bait, and people thought it was, you know, the size of a shoe and, and, and making a bass here. Yeah, I loved it. I, I, I kind of like that, that I, that, that at least in one respect, there was something that I, I don't want to say pioneered because there were guys doing it out west, but really a pioneer in tournament application. Yeah. Taking what I had learned from the other guys in California really and then applying it, yeah, <laughs> and applying it to the, to the tour. So now when you see guys winning tournaments on swim baits, you kind of feel, wow, that was cool. Do you think anyone's, uh, Put the swim bait in the plane great this week? Probably not. Yeah. Water's too cold. When the water's in the 39s and the 40s, I, I doubt, I would be surprised. Yeah. I don't want to say for sure, but what I don't start the most weight until it's like at least 56 to 58. That's what I keep up. Is there any particular swim baits that are your go to swim baits? You know, the one I won Clear Lake on this time was the Raygon, and that's a lake that had seen every swim bait in the world, all of them, you know, and it was Clear Lake. And, and, and Rago, Jerry Rago, who's like the mad scientist of California swim yeah. bait manufacturing, he came out with that, well, I helped design the BB 3D, which was, I had a 7 inch one, is what I want to clear on, but now when I go to Amistad, I'm throwing the, the 4 inch one and the 7 inch one, but it's a three dimensional bait and it's soft plastic. I don't like hard plastic swim baits as much as soft plastic for tournaments because I need to catch more fish. A lot of those big hard swim baits, you're going to hook a lot of fish with those. So the BB 3D, it's a Rago BB 3D, and, and it's just a good all around, three dimensional, small and big swim bait. Catches a lot of fish. A lot of guys in tournaments are, are doing winning a lot of tournaments with it besides me winning clear lake ever. So it's a good thing. I recommend finding one last question before you go. I'm not, I'm sore. You know, I, I had an MRI and a CT scan, and I mean, my doctor is, my doctor is kind of encouraging me not to do it, but I'm like, I'm going back. I already paid the entry fee, and he's like, I don't think you probably should, so it's, it's, it sucks to have some iron fusion. You know, it's a slow process to heal. I've, I've you know, it's a year and a half ago I had the surgery, and I'm just, I'm getting there, but it's like the last year, last year when we started, the first two years, the first two weeks back to back, you have to go 14 days straight at the beginning of the year is what really took me out of it last year. I mean, Florida, I was, I was in pain. I wanted to go to surgery now by the end. Unfold my arms. There's my director. He just showed up. <laughs> well, I got my arms full. I'm sitting back all chewing gum. So anyway, yeah, it's, it's, it's not as good as I'd like to put it that way. Well, we appreciate you talking to us. Guys, thank you for letting me do your show. I enjoy your, it. Enjoy your weekend and keep praying you for your good health. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. That's a good fish. Oh, that's freaking good.
Okay, we're taking a break here. Oh, hey guys, what's up? What are you eating today? I'm gonna have a boiga. Boiga? Some chips. Mm, Billy's. From Billy's. What are you having there, Lester? I'm eating a pulled pork sandwich and macaroni and cheese. And Frank Snagger's doing the same. Can't go wrong with Dickie's barbecue. Frank, what's your, uh, what's your opinion so far of the Expo? It's been a good time, you know. There's a lot of good, a lot of good vendors out here. Got a lot of good products, a lot of good deals. If you get the chance, you should definitely come out next year when it's somewhere else. <laughs> That a boy. Well, hey guys, stay tuned. You guys, we're back, and this is retired legend Denny Brower. Uh, we're gonna ask him a few questions. Uh, Denny, what's it like out there? Out on Grand Lake? Yeah. I'd say it's cold right now. Cold, and windy, but they're gonna catch you. Lake's absolutely loaded with bass. You know, one of the best bass lakes in the country, certainly in the Midwest. So it's gonna be an awesome tournament. If you were fishing, Denny, what would you be throwing? Oh, I don't know. As cold as the water is, I'd be uh, probably throwing a small crankbait, working it fairly slow, and more likely a jig. Denny, you got any uh, tips for new bass fishermen out there? Oh, when it gets cold like this, you need to slow down. Uh, there's going to be a lot of jerk bait fish caught by the guys jerking them down, just letting them sit in one place for a long time, especially in the clearer water. But the bottom line is when the water gets super cold, kind of want to key on a little bit clearer water, a little more vertical type of bank, and, and fish slow. Slow's the key. Guys, those are the words from Denny Brower, the legend. That's a good fish. Our uh, driver for the... For the classic, it was uh, Frank Snagger, as you saw in uh, episode six, Trout and Menopausal Women, the star. Frank, out of ten, how was your Bassmaster Classic experience? You know, I'd probably go ten. Yeah. Now you left with a lot of money in your wallet. I did. Yeah. That's and what having a family will do for you. Yep. You know, it's a good got point. A, got a mouth at home. I got to feed. So. A mouth at home. Family, to my mom and dad. <laughs> A mouth at home to feed is more important than a fish in the water to feed, am I right? That's true, yeah. That is true. What did you end up getting? Uh, well, I got some pretty sweet worms. Uh, I got a free fishing pole, too. Hey, anytime you get a free fishing pole... It doesn't get any better That's good. That. Free, seven-footer, flipping stick. It's going to be good. I got a free hat as well. Got some free decals. Free. And you got stuff. free fun, huh? Hey, fun by the bucket full. <laughs> On. Hey, what's that shirt? <laughs> that's oh, a good fish. That's that. No, that is a good fish. Look at that. A lot of hair. Got the old winter beard going. Yeah, winter beard. You know, I bet a lot of these pros out there today don't have something like that to keep them warm on a day like this. Should. Absolutely should. Is that the jersey you got? Absolutely. I'm going to put it on. Let's show, I'm going to show you what it looks like. And there he is. It's crazy how you put a jersey on like that and you automatically become a better fisherman. That's true. Now, are you sponsored by Laser Trocar? Absolutely. They make yeah. all my hooks. That's what I figured. At the doctor's office. <laughs> They're surgically sharper. Is that how you normally wear it with the chest hair? Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, if it's a little nipply, you can always zip, zip it up. It That's why you get the zip in. I always pay the 15 extra to get the zip in. Got it's real it. Nice. You look like a fisherman. Thanks, man. You can't catch a fish, but you, you look like one. It's all about how you look. Lester Whiteside, he's going to talk a little bit about the uh, tackle he, he purchased today um, from the expo. So, Lester, go ahead and tell us a little bit about what you got. Well, uh, uh, Lester, like he said, I'm pro staff with That's a Good Fish. Yeah, uh, was at the expo today, and you know, these kind of came across uh, and uh, caught my eye today. This is the tail grabber. Now, I don't really know how this thing's going to work. You know, I just look cool. And uh, this back tail right here is supposed to spread water out the backside. I don't know. It looks cool, so I bought it. <laughs> and here's the treasure. This is a just, I don't even want to take it out of the package. It's an AR tackle, swim bait. It's more of a wake bait almost. But just look at the paint on that. I really don't want to take this out. It's a very expensive lure. I will be throwing it on braided line if I ever throw it in a tournament this year. As you can see, you get, the gut's getting a little big there. Uh, too many too many babes cheeseburgers, but uh, hopefully 
you win a few tournaments, you can pay for more Babe's Cheeseburgers, and we'll get to do it more. So, Lester, can you can you talk about the uh, new sponsor we picked up today, Laser Trocar? Well, as you can see, they call me Wicked. Wicked. Because my hook set is Wicked. Now, let me show you something. I take this rod here, and this is demonstration. That's a good fish! That's a good fish! Right, Just a little with, sample. Uh, that's a good fish. Pro staffer uh, Dick Russell here. I'm um, talking about the classic. Uh, now, Dick, what would you be doing if you were out there fishing at Grand today? Well, I'd be focusing on them flat pea gravel banks and the, the bluff ends. Uh, probably throwing a, a jerk bait. Uh, maybe a football jig, rattle trap, shad wrap, wiggle wart, something like that. Probably work it quick. Um, you know, quick, quick, quick pause. Um, so that's that's what I'd be doing. Now, uh, how many tournaments do you plan on fishing this next season? Um, as many as I can afford. All right, well, uh, thanks for talking with us, Dick.